Today, we're going to tackle an important moral dilemma. Is it ethical to eat your fellow colonists in RimWorld? Now, as you all know, I'm a firm believer in the principles of classical liberalism and the free market. But in the harsh world of RimWorld, sometimes you need to make some tough decisions. And let's face it, when you're out of food and your colonists are starving, you have two choices. Either let them die and waste valuable resources or make the tough call and have a little snack. This is Ben Hannibal, and this is the Space Cannibalism Show. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the benefits of cannibalism and organ harvesting in RimWorld. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Ben, this is barbaric and inhumane. But let me ask you this. Why waste perfectly good meat and organs? Think about it. In RimWorld, we have to survive by any means necessary. We need food, and we need it fast. And what better way to get food than to eat our enemies? It's just simple math, folks. And don't even get me started on organ harvesting. Why let those perfectly good organs go to waste when we can use them to save our own people? It's just common sense. And let me tell you something. If you're not willing to do what it takes to survive in RimWorld, then you don't deserve to live. It's a harsh reality, but it's the truth. So in conclusion, cannibalism and organ harvesting may seem taboo to some of you, but in RimWorld, they are essential for survival. Don't be a snowflake. Be a survivor. So picture this. You're living in RimWorld. The world's already gone to hell. Might as well get a stylish leather hat out of it, right? Well, I've got just the thing for you. Introducing the human leather hat trader, now offering a special discount code for all you colonists out there. Use code BEN at checkout for 10% off your next hat purchase. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Ben, isn't human leather kind of messed up? Well, let me ask you this. When you're trying to survive in a harsh, unforgiving world, do you really care where your clothes come from? I mean, sure, it's not for everyone, but if you're looking for the ultimate in durability and style, you can't go wrong with a human leather hat. And let's be real here, folks. It's not like those tribes people were using their skin anyway. Might as well put it to good use, am I right? So head on over to the Human Leather Hat Traders website today and use code BEN to save some serious cash on your next hat. Trust me, your head will thank you. All right, buckle up, folks, because we're about to take a wild ride through the twisted world of anime mods in RimWorld. In this clip, we see Chris Hansom, a man who's made a career out of catching sickos, conducting a sting operation to nab perverts who use anime mods in RimWorld. Let's take a look. Hey, it's finally good to meet you. I'm just going to go into my anime room to do anime girl things, okay? You wait right there, all right? Don't let me catch you peeking. Teehee! Anything for you, my love? I shall wait even for eternity if it means holding your sweet, delicate anime hands. Why don't you take a seat right over there? Oh, shit! Chris Handsome! So, what are you doing here? I was just, uh, looking for my waifu. I swear I wasn't going to do anything inappropriate. Oh, really? Well, we have chat logs that say otherwise. You were planning to take advantage of an innocent anime girl in RimWorld, weren't you? No, I swear! According to anime rules, she's at least 1,000 years old. She lied to me, dude. Algy, it says right here she is 15 years old. She says this multiple times. What do you have to say about yourself? This is a mistake! Please! My mom is gonna kill me! She banned me from watching any more anime! Well, I'm Chris Handsome. I'm doing a story with Fake Line NBC about sexual predators who target young, impressionable anime monster girls. You're free to leave anytime. Hands! Hands, hands up! Now! You Show us your son hands! of a bitch, try anything and we'll light you up. Oh shit! You brought the feds out on me? Put Chris Handsome, you bastard! Arrest, sir. Put your hands up! No! No waifu, no leifu! You can't do this to me! All I wanted was some anime monster girl coochie! Comply immediately, or we will Sir, open fire. we won't say it again. Put your hands up right now. I'd rather die. Go to hell, you pigs. You asshole. Put your fucking hands up. Fuck you, pigs. Go ahead and make my day, you sick piece of shit. Anime for life. Gun, open gun, fire. Gun, gun. Now I know what you're all thinking. Ben, isn't this entrapment? And you're damn right it is. This is just another example of the government and the media trying to control what we can and can't do in our own colonies. And don't even get me started on the demonization of anime mods. They're harmless, folks. If anything, they're a way for us to express our love of the art form in a healthy and consensual way. So let's stop the witch hunt and let people enjoy their anime monster girl mods however they please. All right, folks, it's time to talk about the latest mod that's causing quite the stir in the RimWorld community. I'm talking about the Vaporeon mod. Now, for those of you who aren't in the know, Vaporeon is a popular Pokemon character, and this mod lets you add her to your RimWorld game as a character. But that's not all, because this mod also allows you to engage in some human Vaporeon breeding. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Ben, isn't that a little bit weird? Well, let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with a little interspecies breeding. In fact, it's a beautiful thing. 
And the best part is, with the Vaporeon mod, you can make sure your offspring have all the best traits of both humans and Pokemon. It's like evolution in action. So head on over to the Steam Workshop and check out the Vaporeon mod today. And remember, breeding with Pokemon is natural, and it's what our ancestors did for thousands of years. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, folks, for the final topic of this evening, buckle up because we're about to talk about the most terrifying, edgy, and arguably the most powerful faction in all of RimWorld, Void. These beings are beyond our understanding with technology so advanced it might as well be magic. But you know what's even scarier than Void? Anime Moose Girls. That's right. This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. We have a clip of an interaction between the two, where a female void negotiator escorted by four bodyguards approach a crash-landed moose girl colony. Let's watch. Hi, Uwu. I like your fancy suits. I can't believe we're making friends this early. That's close enough. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are Ooh, void. I can't wait to hear your name, miss. My name is Bran. What's yours? You are unlawfully trespassing in our newly annexed territory. You must leave this world at once. Woo! Wow, so kawaii. I can't believe we are already making alien friends. Hi, my name is Mani. What's yours? Young lady, I suggest you be quiet while I speak. Your life may- <laughs> Your friends are so funny, Bran. We should invite them in for supper. They look famished. You know what? Let's leave this planet. It's not worth it. Darn it, Monty. You said something rude to upset our new friends. Please come back. Oh, no. Ooh, woo, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be so kawaii. I didn't even learn your name. That's right, folks. These uncanny creatures are more terrifying than anything the Void could throw at us. Just look at those bodies. It's like they were designed by some kind of deranged madman. And the way they move, it's like they're from some kind of Lovecraftian nightmare. You know what, folks? I think we need to start taking these anime moose girls seriously. They may be cringe, but they're also some of the most terrifying creatures out there. So remember, stay alert and keep an eye out for any moose girls lurking in the shadows. Because if you're not careful, they might just be the last thing you ever see. Ahem, ladies and gentlemen, I, Ben Hannibal, would like to make a formal apology to the anime moose girls community. I understand that my recent comments may have offended some of you, and for that, I am truly sorry. While I may have referred to your uncanny bodies as something out of a horror movie, I realize now that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and some people might find it attractive. So, to all you anime moose girls out there, I beg of you, please don't go after my family. I will take back what I said, and I'll make sure to never call you cringe again. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today on the Space Cannibalism Show. But before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors at Combat Extended. Use promo code BEN at checkout for 10% off on all Combat Extended ammunition. Make sure you're prepared for those raids by stocking up on the best ammo around. Now, I know some people have been spreading rumors about Combat Extended being incompatible with other mods. But let me tell you, those people are wrong. The folks who work hard creating CE patches are the ultimate Giga Chads. They know how to make it work with anything and everything, and they do it for the love of the game. So in conclusion, remember to always use Combat Extended and don't let anyone tell you that it's not compatible with other mods. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on the Space Cannibalism Show. Keep on surviving.